what's up guys so after detailing the car uh, we just saw that uh, the screen's not working uh, the MMI multimedia interface so um, there's a way to reset this but I mean first if you try to if we try to turn this on the screen goes on and nothing comes on it goes back out so first thing you want to do the easiest thing is uh, trying to reset the whole system and have it reboot so you just want to hold down three buttons set up the center button and the top right corner at the same time press and hold and see if the screen comes on yeah so this is not doing anything for us so um that means something's not connected so the next thing you can start by is um, check pulling out the CD changer so what I used is uh, tweezers yeah like long tweezers or uh, some people use a uh, nail filer there's two two little holes right here and you want to put this something similar to this it could be a nail filer or a tweezers if you have a long one uh, you pop this in here all the way in and try to pull out the side with uh, something plastic I broke this you could use something like a credit card or something like that to try to pull this out I already just uh, pulled this out so uh, that's what I'm showing you after I did it so you want to do that both sides you put this in then you put it in the other side and then you try to pull it there's a metal piece that disconnects uh, when you when you put a um, piece of metal or something like that inside so it pops out so right now this is not coming out so I'm gonna put it in neutral so you take this out and you want to make sure all the wires are connected that could be causing the, the screen the MMI to not work so we see over here all of this is popped in uh, all the wires over here are pretty firm also should be working so we're gonna after you check that the next thing you want to check is this whole system connects to receiver in the trunk so that's not the issue here because these are supposed to be coming on um, so we're gonna check that in the trunk now back here when you get to the trunk uh, most of the Audis, they have the um, the navigation system right here, and also all the receivers are back here. So you want to check if if anything is disconnected or uh, missing. You know, it could be because the whole system is a loop. So if if there's anything unplugged, the whole system doesn't work. So checking back here all of this is connected I actually disconnected this before and put it back on you want to make sure everything over here is connected so I'm not gonna be taking this whole thing out again but uh, that's what you want to check and we already checked this and everything is good here as well okay so uh, the last thing you want to do is uh, change the change the board so the electronic board is located right here I'm not gonna be taking that out right now but that's the last thing and um, the cheapest way to do it is if you go to the dealership they're gonna ask you for a couple thousand dollars but uh, there's I've seen a couple videos as well there's people having the same situation and you can literally order the part from uh, eBay or any website and swap it out yourself and that's gonna save you the, the piece is about a couple hundred like 150 or something like that and that's gonna save you a lot of money but the next thing after checking the trunk with all the wires and connections uh, next thing you want to do is come here uh, this is where the fuse box is so it's gonna be on the passenger side uh, you pop this open with anything I'm using the same tweezers you know this pops out and these are where the fuses are so 
as we see over here, you can check what number is uh, for which part of the accessory. So we see right here, we have a um, number one, the brown fuse carrier is a CD drive. So I mean, it could be our CD drive is not working or the, the, the third one, the MMI radio. So if we check over here, this would be the brown fuse carrier. So the first one is the CD drive. So it goes from the bottom to top. So, and the bottom is steering comb switch module. So what we could do is, uh, since we don't have a fuse for this right now, we could just swap one of these around and see if the screen works. So I'm gonna be taking uh, this one. Let's see what that is. One, two, three, four, four, what's four? Four is light switch. So let's take out the fourth one. Let's see. Put this in in the CD drive. So it's a, you gotta make sure this fuse is good. You know, it's connected so it's good. And, and it's uh, number five. So we need number five for the first, first spot right here. I'm gonna put this in. And I mean, there's nothing right now, so I'm gonna turn off the car and try to start it. So let's see if it works now. I'm gonna try to turn it on. Oh, you got it. All the lights are on, and the screen came on as well. So it could be something simple as this. That's what we had. We bought this car from the auction, so we don't know the history, so we don't know what happened to it, who took out the fuse, or, you know, so so now we know the whole board down here works because all the lights are going on, and, um, and the screen is on, so let's see. Empty, no, CD control. You know, everything is working. Let's see if this works. We got the navigation, info. Yeah, all of these buttons work. Parking system, central locking. All of these buttons down here work, so, you know. It could be a small issue like that. So you wanna try to diagnose it yourself first until you go spending money somewhere else. And they could charge you a lot of money if, if you don't know what it is you know they could just tell you it's something else and first thing you want to do is try to do go through these steps and uh, try to figure out yourself hope this video helped you guys you know uh, we just got this car so we don't know the history and uh, there's gonna be a lot of things that we're gonna be fixing on our channel so uh, make sure to check that out if you have an Audi and, uh, this should be pretty helpful you know if, uh, if I, if I saw this kind of video, you know, it would have helped me save time, try to disconnect and connect all the wires. So, um, for some reason, we see that um, the, the audio is mute right here. And uh, there, I tried to put the volume up, you know, and uh, it's, not, it's not coming on. So, that's another issue that I saw that a lot of people had. So we're gonna try to see how, how to fix that and we'll do another video about that as well. So, see you guys and uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, subscribe.